Slava Konstantinov, uh, thank you very much for joining us today on My Security TV here at Zero Trust World. Uh, you're working for Threat Locker. Yes. Uh, maybe describe your role because we're going to be talking about Mac OS and yeah. you've just recently done a session on, on that as yes, well. Yes, right? yeah. So I'm a Mac lead architect at, at Threat Locker. So I've done, so I started Mac journey for Threat Locker basically. Got it. Yes. So I've since POC until today. So I'm leading this project basically, and uh, trying to teach people and tr secure people, honestly, obviously, but teach people that Mac is not protected as they think it is. Wow. I mean, it still is, yes. but it's not as good as people think it's unvulnerable. Well, maybe talk us through what what are some of the vulnerabilities that you are sort of addressing on, on a Mac. That might be different from a traditional PC. No, I mean like the business logic for Threat Locker is the same. Yes. We have executes, writes, reads, elevation, everything's the same. It's how it works internally, the agent itself. Got it. It's different. It's completely different. So the business logic for user, it should look exactly the same. So it should not be distinguished between Mac and Windows. Obviously, so we're, the tact is coming for on, on the Mac because Mac is a relatively new product. We don't have every feature that Windows has but also detect when it's coming. It's going to have different kinds of policies a little bit because how Mac works. Right. But other than that, everything else should be exactly the same. I suppose the business profile, or is this for the end user as well, but yeah, does the business profile seem to change for businesses using Mac environment or in a Mac environment? Yes, business using more Mac environment, especially if you're graphic designer or something like yeah. that, or your top level. We've seen a lot of organizations, they have like, five, ten percent of max and all of them are top level executives or yep. VPs or something like that. Is there integration between a non Mac environment and a, a Mac environment using Threat Locker? So if that environment has both of those operating systems, yeah. you can use the same Threat Locker dashboard? Yes, yes. So yeah, it's right. the same dashboard, same unified audit, everything's the same, just yep. agent for every uh, different OS is different. Okay. That's it. And how, what are you finding the take up, uh, in particularly within your partners partners range? Uh, do they t sort of kind of tend to stay away from it? Oh yeah, uh, a lot of or, people try. Yeah. Oh, I have. So Danny hates Macs. <laughs> <laughs> he he loves it as a product, but yeah. he hates the Mac <laughs> Mac itself, Mac OS. So I. But Rob's on my team actually. Got it. There you go. Well, we just spoke to Rob. <laughs> yeah. He's the chief product officer, so he's yes. got some say. He's on my team, yeah. Got but, it. Because I. Danny says a lot of bad things about me. I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> well, we are on. Yeah, yes. We are being recorded. But uh, yeah, maybe yeah, what's sort of the, the, the key pushback that you do get? Just through a lack of awareness and, and understanding? or Yeah. yeah. Th so there's a lot of uh, un, uh, people don't understand Max. Yep. And also there's, uh, there's a lot of misconceptions. People think that Max are... For sometimes for stupid users. Right. I, I use Mac, so I, I, I can argue with that. Right. Um, and gen generally, the approach is exactly the same. Uh, and is there, is there any differences within the product range as well it, itself for no, Threat Locker product on range, a Mac environment, or is it exactly the same? For now, we have less products available for Mac Got just it. because it's new. Yep. It's relatively new. So, uh, so we don't have detect. It's coming soon. Yeah. And the three products that was announced to, uh, were announced today. Yes. It was uh, uh, insights, web control, and uh, batch management. Right. So all of them are coming. Web control is coming first. So it's it's pretty much done on Mac. We've yeah. done, we need to finish some testing, but everything else is in there. Oh, there's also configuration manager. Nice. It's coming a little bit later. So we're keeping up with Windows, but we have smaller team. It's a new team, basically. Yep. Uh, and that's why we're, it's harder to keep up. <laughs> but at the same time, I told Danny multiple times, so we'll make Mac a better product than Windows. Very we nice. have our, a lot of like uh, uh, the caveats. Caveats, uh, yeah. Yeah, caveats in, in, in our way. But we're dealing with that. We're getting better. Well, definitely one to watch. Uh, I take it you've got some more announcements coming this year, or do you find you wait for the for the zero trust world? No, yeah. like this year, we we want to finish all of the Thread Locker products that it's available for Great. Windows this year. Okay. And that next year, we'll see what's coming next. Beautiful. <laughs> well, Slava, thank you so much for for joining Thanks us today on MySecurity TV. Uh, enjoy the rest of Zero Trust World here in Orlando. Are you based here at the head office? Yes, yes. Yeah, there you I'm, go. I'm here. Nice. <laughs> if you want to contact me, talk to me, I'm here. Beautiful. Thanks, I <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks Good for having you. me.